So, Melbourne versus Sydney. This one's going to be controversial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looking forward to these comments. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers. Cheers, darling. Cheers. The reason we say this could be controversial is because, not for you, bud, we've seen the comments on our recent Melbourne videos. A lot of people say, get out of Melbourne, but we've had a lot of messages from people saying, where should I go? Yeah, what's better, Melbourne or Sydney? So we've obviously been to Melbourne recently, but what you might not know if you don't follow us on Instagram is that we have also been to Sydney recently. So we have some awesome videos from Sydney coming up. Yeah, we've got three or four, I think. Yeah, and lots of opinions too. <laughs> <laughs> So speaking of opinions, if you are a local and you're one of those opinionated people that can actually help and you have a good point of view, please leave it below so that other people can actually find it and make use of the recommendations. But we're coming at it from a traveler's perspective. Yeah. I've got a list of questions that go into general food experiences and transport. I raised the question, we chatted out. Then I will be <laughs> keeping official score, Melbourne versus Sydney. But we'll also put a score up here somewhere. I can't remember which corner it is because it's always reversed. It's kind of confusing, but it's up here as well. So, so it's all very official. General, nicest weather. That's a, that's a really hard one to begin with. Oh my God, this is going to be so hard. Um, probably Sydney, right? Because it's Sydney. the whole beaches, sunny. Bondi, sunny. Yeah, Melbourne is much uh, much colder and can, I mean, we were there, it was like boiling hot one day, yeah. beanies freezing the next. A lot of different extremes, which yeah. is kind of like Auckland, to be honest. Um, best outdoor. Oh wait, hang on. Best outdoor activities. I mean, you can't really go past the Sydney Harbour Bridge climb. Mm. That was pretty amazing. Depends if we're talking like greater. Should we do Great Ocean Road as well as Melbourne and then Sydney and Blue, Blue Mountains? Because they're kind of comparable. Okay, so I would say for Melbourne, best outdoor activities would be like traveling the Great Ocean Road and yeah. doing like 12 Apostles and Easily. All should, that. should we go point each? Like it's pretty yeah. it's pretty comparable, I one would say. Melbourne, but you mentioned one. best sites slash icons, like things to see. I think yes. it's got to be Sydney That's for Sydney. that. Yeah. Is that another one? Yeah. Ooh la la. Um, most stunning scenery. If you're just talking about the city, meh, I don't know. I feel like Sydney wins because it's got like over a hundred beaches. Yeah. Yeah. Head at Sydney, but then I would say Great Ocean Road should win for just outright beauty yeah. as well. So there's a point for <laughs> Melbourne. Well. Hey, watch. there's no rules here. <laughs> people are gonna watch this and be like, oh my God. Uh, someone asked about like the fitness scene, and I was like, instantly I just thought Sydney, Sydney like Bondi Hole. You better wear your best outfit. Get yeah. your tan on, get your muscles out. Get because... your Lululemon outfit on yeah. and do the, the Bondi to Bronte walk and your foot right in. <laughs> yeah, Sydney. Um, nightlife. I mean, <laughs> we're day drinkers. <laughs> um, I mean, Melbourne has a, like, I know we're going to get to food and I know Melbourne's going to yeah. smoke that. But I did really like the... Um, Bar 83, up the Sydney Tower, mm. and Old Mate's Place in Sydney. They were both unique, but I think, so yeah, okay, but I also think that Melbourne's got more more random places. Yeah, so maybe, Melbourne. Well, no, we can do one each. Oh. I, I'm saying Melbourne. What can I put half? Should I do half? Like? No, do one on each. Okay, one on each. Just roll it, who cares? Okay. Well, you might care. Hope you don't mind. Um, best beaches. CBD is... CBD ish is Sydney because, like you said, there's a hundred yeah. there's a hundred beaches within like I can't like thirty minutes or, or something like that yeah. of CBD Sydney. Yeah, that is cool. So a point for Sydney for sure. But if you're talking about the coast, obviously it's not Melbourne, but the Great Ocean Road. Mm. Um, that water and that location, unreal. I know yeah. we went in the in the winter, so we couldn't swim, but I imagine in the summertime that place just cranks along that coastline. Yep, yeah, agreed. So, you get uh, Cleanliness. Melbourne. <laughs> Melbourne? Melbourne. I don't know, there's something about Sydney CBD that you just maybe see like a little bit more homelessness. Oh, maybe yeah. See... Yeah, I see what you mean. It seemed a little bit more rough around in places. Yeah. Though, but okay, yeah, so. I mean, I know you get that. No, I'm just get that everywhere. everywhere you get that in Auckland as well for sure yeah uh prices and this was this is hugely controversial from some of the comments that we've seen because we think Melbourne is more expensive than Auckland some people said the opposite um Melbourne is more expensive yeah but what about between the two between Sydney and Melbourne yeah I mean we spend more in Melbourne 
were we there longer? Well, yeah, we just we went out and we did more food and stuff, so it's hard to know. But I thought I thought Melbourne CBD was more expensive, to be honest. The most money I've ever spent on some peanuts was in Sydney. Fourteen dollars for real for what? Yeah, we were up bar eighty three. Oh yeah, that was wild. And there's a minimum spend, and we were like, peanuts, okay, peanuts and two cocktails, <laughs> and we're good to go. Fourteen dollars. Money. And how much was that cocktail at Old Mate's Place? $32. $32. Australian? Yeah, that's a cool cocktail. It just though. depends where you go, right? Like, They're know. both pretty expensive, so maybe. You both get a You point. both get a point. That's what you well, get. we're looking pretty even. Friendlier to locals. Where did we meet the most, like, chill, nice, fun people? Both places, to be fair, but I feel like in Sydney CBD, People are more on a mission. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like they're yeah, like I think commuting Melbourne. to work and don't get in my way. And I think Melbourne. I'm gonna go like say the vibe word already because that's gonna come later on. But I think Melbourne wins yeah. for this one. We just want to take a quick minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark, who have saved our sanity more than a few times, but now that it's hockey season, more than ever for Dave. So Surfshark VPN is an app and a browser extension that lets you virtually place your phone, laptop, tablet, or TV in any country. So when the season started. And I went to sign up for NHL TV to watch the games. I got met with a big wop, wop, wop. But with Surfshark, I can just set my location to the UK and I'm in. Nice. But the same goes for any other streaming service as well. Whether that's Netflix shows that you can't get in New Zealand or access to sites like ITV, because who doesn't love a good British crime show? They're the best. <laughs> <laughs> it also encrypts all of our internet activity so that our passwords and personal info stay safe. Plus you can use it on multiple devices with unlimited connections at, at the, the same, same time. time. Leading into Black Friday, click our link in the description and you will get 85% off as well as three months for free. And there's a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's no reason not to give it a go. Uh, okay, now we're on to food. Best coffee. Melbourne, hands down. Melbourne. Sydney has got really good coffee too though. We did yeah. have some great, some great cup of joes. Yeah, the grounds, the grounds of Alexandria. Was yeah, nice. those are nice. Um, but you're Melbourne. Melbourne. Very strong coffee though, like you you could probably talk to that more than me. I, I order a larger coffee in Melbourne because it is so strong. Mm. But nice. Yeah. Uh, best food? Melbourne. You you get a point. You should get two points. Silence. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I do actually agree, yeah. Melbourne food scene is amazing because there's so many different cultures. Mm. So we did Chinatown, we did all sorts <clears> of different, <throat> although I have to say the Mexican in yeah um, so but there is an option like favorite restaurant and i would say okay. that um santa catarina santa catarina in sydney was the nicest overall restaurant experience we had we've had and we've been to mexico obviously and yeah. and that was like legitness the best guacamole i've ever had in my whole life uh unique food joints is another one that people always ask melbourne. us about i reckon melbourne things like easy's and the train carriage yeah that was really cool the donuts at the market. Mm, yeah, that's kind of, I don't know van. how unique that is, but it was, it was delish. Well, I mean, it's been in a camper van for how many years? Yeah. Sydney, we didn't really find as many unique places, did we? Mm. I mean, we went, like you said, Bar 83, which is cool because it's up the tower, old mate's place, but that's kind of more the nightlife sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, I reckon Melbourne wins. Did I give it a point already? I've only had two sips of beer and I'm like, eh, yeah, you get a point, <laughs> you get a point. This guy's just sleeping. He's not too well at the moment, obviously. Anyway, um, your favorite meal doesn't my have, favorite yeah, meal? anything. It doesn't have to be like restaurant. Just what Loon. is the favorite thing? So Melbourne loon croissants. Getting the the almond one. Oh my god, best croissant of my entire life. <laughs> I would line up for hours for one of those again. Whoa, Maybe okay. we need to come back. Oh, I'm so bad at remembering food, but I just remember thinking that I really like that burger at Easy's. The smash burger. I just yeah. love that smash burger, that American kind of style. Okay experiences coolest vibe we already said melbourne wins that especially in the melbourne. cbd when you go into hosea lane and the street art yeah love it i mean to give sydney a little bit of a side credit that bondi wall is is a really nice oh, touch the graffiti wall. Yeah, yeah that they they legitimized a wall that used to be graffitied and now artists come and get a sick a sector that they can kind of keep for three a months sector? or something a section <laughs> a section sure <laughs> uh that's awesome but it's yeah. not the same kind of vibe that we're talking no melbourne ones sorry fashion scene i mean each have their own but you can't really go past melbourne's like hipster kind of yeah 
Are you, are you score taken or? Yeah, mostly. Did you, <laughs> <laughs> you reckon you did that last one? I can't remember. Uh, oh, Melvin's winning at this point. Yeah, it's pretty close. So. Um, best shopping? I mean, I can't talk. I, I personally thought that Sydney had better CBD, like, wander to shops yeah. than around that area. Yeah. I remember being told that Melbourne apparently had better big shopping malls, but we didn't we didn't go to any. I haven't been to any. Yeah. I think in both places you can get lost in the arcades, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, a lot of Aussie brands are in Sydney, which mm. is cool. I know I've said cool too many times. Uh oh, someone's gonna call me out on that. I think it's Sydney anyway. Well, Sydney for me. Yeah, I agree. Reckon? I mean, they're both awesome, so I'm gonna give them both one. Ooh, okay. Uh, things to do. Uh, if you're talking about strictly in the CBD, things to do, I would argue that Sydney wins because you've got the bridge climb, you've got harbour cruises, there's so much to do in and around that whole Yeah, area. even just walking around the rocks and stuff, it's all just sort of yeah. unique, isn't it? It's something to, to wander and do. Yeah, and it's so close to the Blue Mountains, yeah. that, and then that things to do yeah. just opens up completely. Sydney. Uh, most epic experience, so this is kind of more about us, I suppose, in our recent trip. I'm going to say the Blue Mountains, doing the, when we were at Scenic Park. Beyond Park, Skyway. The Beyond Skyway, where we got out on top of a cable car, 270 meters suspended in the air, and we got um, harnessed in. That's wicked. And we got to drink some hot chocolates and watch the sunset in the Blue Mountains. Right, looking right over the Three Sisters, and then Katoomba Falls was behind us as well. Yeah, I can't even question that. That was, that that was, was incredible. That was, well, that, was, that was one of the best things we've done in a very long time. One of the best things we've ever done in our life. Oh, we hit it here first. Yeah. And the crew there are so funny as oh, well. they're epic. That, like, the... Sometimes we come across, I think it's more New Zealand and Australia, you just get those really funny, off the cuff, like yeah. hard cases, we'd say, sort of like tour guides or whatever. People you would legit be friends with. Yeah, and they're yeah. just so much character there. They were really awesome. Yeah. Biggest surprise experience from like what we've done in the, in the recent trips? I'd almost say it was that as well, wasn't it? Like, yeah. that, was, that was the best and the biggest surprise of a lot of them. Because I didn't think it was going to be that big. Well, for me, what was surprising was being forced onto a roller coaster for the first time in 31 years. In Sydney. In Sydney. I wasn't <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I went on the Big Dipper at Luna Park. But then you could also say the same thing in, um, what was it, Lawn? Where I went on the zip oh, coaster, that's right. the shockwave zip coaster. Best sporting events? That's kind of quick, oh, but I reckon that's Melbourne. Melbourne has the Formula One, so that wins on to the next one. Theme Parks actually was on here. Oh. They've both got Luna Park, but the Sydney one is upgraded and is open, so... Mm. <laughs> is <Sydney>. that <laughs> Transport. Wait, 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 I haven't done Sydney. Um, best public transport. I mean, they're both really well set up, but I think the free tram zone... <laughs> Nalu! He agrees. He agrees. Nalu, come here. Come on, buddy. I think the free tram zone in um, Melbourne, Melbourne wins. There is, there has been some. Cut. Mel uh, Melbourne. <laughs> I can't wait till we get our puppy Sydney. I just called him Melbourne. <laughs> um, yeah, there has been some free stuff in Sydney, but I think it's more been for locals. You need a card, blah, blah. Whereas in Melbourne, just hop on. But Uber's great in both. Yeah, true. I also noticed in Sydney a lot of the... Um, Transport hubs were under construction, which okay. I don't know whether that counts. So Melbourne. Did uh, I write that down? I don't remember. Driving conditions for like renting a car. I didn't drive, so. I'd say both are both are really good to be honest. So it's kind of mute. Like I don't think either was hard or are you going to point on or right. Um, I'm getting pretty loose with these scores. Hard. That's where it was always going to be. Least <laughs> least traffic or just like traffic in general. They're both. Both pretty hectic, so but where busy. was it? It was Sydney where the, the Uber drivers in particular were always talking smack about how bad the traffic was. And how bad the roads were as well yeah. for them. So I guess Melbourne wins because the locals kind of told us. Mm. Uh, like general, like size, like reach of the size to explore. So just the central city? Yeah, I don't know, yeah. Um, I mean, we walked most places in Melbourne, didn't we? Yeah. And with the combination of the free tram, I felt like the ease of getting around was like easier <laughs> in Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. The ease was easier. The ease was easier. Okay, sure, uh, Melbourne. But then we did walk a lot in Sydney, but further distances, I feel like. I think so too, yeah. Okay, so Melbourne wins. And then most walkable, which is 
kind oh, of relate. Oh, what I just said, really, eh? I yeah. mean, they're both really walkable. It just depends how far and how far you want to walk. How desperate you are for a croissant. <laughs> croissant. So? Uh, most walkable would be... Um, I think Melbourne. Yeah, I definitely felt like Sydney was a bit more hectic. Cool. That was the last question that we had. You're never going to guess this. Got any training tips about how to stop a barking dog? Feel free to let us know because it's just developed. Well, the scoreboard shows that Melbourne won. Yep. And it's weird, I feel bad for Sydney because I really <laughs> Sydney's awesome as well. Yes, I mean, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't go to Sydney, but yeah, yeah. if I personally had to pick between going back to Melbourne or Sydney, I would pick Melbourne. Okay. But that's because I'm, I love food and I love, you know, shopping and food, yeah. things like that. But it's also quite nice, sorry, I don't mean to talk about you, okay. to like rug up. Because Melbourne's kind of cold, I quite like it. It's a little I mean, bit... in the summer it's hot though. Yeah. It depends what time of the year you go. But yeah, like when we went in winter, it was nice to kind of cruise around in your coat and. And the Great Ocean Road is legit. Stunning. Such an amazing trip. Yeah, there's a reason why that's one of the world's top road yeah. trips. But if you have got an opinion, let us know below. Um, I'm curious to hear. Curious to hear how this one, nice. how this one goes. <laughs> but yeah, and if you are a local, by all means, let, let us know what you think. Because we, obviously, this isn't based on living. This is purely based no. on travelers and us coming. Yeah. Well, yeah I mean, we've been multiple times over the years, um, only a few times on camera, but yeah. a lot in the past. Yeah, so if you're like, oh, that's not the best food, drop in the comments where your favorite food place is or... Hey, hey, hey. Do you know, buddy? <laughs> all right. Well, we go do some training then. We'll catch you next time. <laughs> Bye. In Sydney.